I might regret trying to just do this voiceover without pre-planning or anything, but I guess we'll just see how it goes. Hello everybody and welcome to Pignet. If you're not familiar with my channel, nice to meet you. My name is Jessie. And welcome to a series that I'm calling the 13 Copic Doodles of Halloween. Basically every day until Halloween, I'm going to be uploading a new video where I draw a woodland animal dressed in a Halloween costume. Today is day number 8 and I'm drawing a badger dressed as a police officer. And my topic for discussion, as per request, is my school experience and how I got into art. The second part of that question is kind of a no-brainer. It's not even a question, I guess. Like, I've basically been drawing for as long as I can remember. I never thought of being anything else. This would actually probably be a good video to have some old drawings of mine from, like, elementary school, but I don't really have any of that. You'd have to ask my mom for some of those, I think. As far as schooling, some people were kind of wondering how much of what I do is learned from school. I want to say not much. Basically my high school and all of my grade school art experience is just your typical art class. We didn't have any bells or whistles. I know that some schools now, some kids learn Photoshop and stuff. Like, I never had any of that experience. Then, when I went to college, I went to Edinburgh University of Pennsylvania, about 15 minutes out of Erie. One of the reasons why I went to that school is because they supposedly have a very good animation program, and I wanted to go to school for animation. As far as learning more about how to draw, I still think you learn more just by doing art. And I think that's the only reason why I maybe left Edinburgh with more skill than when I went in. And that's not because I learned from the classes, but more just because I put in the time and drew more in general. I definitely had some parts of my life where I didn't do a lot of creating. Like, I, I'm actually not the kind of person that sits and draws all day long. I'm not one of those people, like, as much as it looks like I am. Since starting this YouTube channel, I've done way more art than I normally would have done in any given sitting. In school, I was super studious, I was very neat and organized, so I never drew on any of my books or notebooks because it would mean my notes would look sloppy. And now it's all about my notes looking perfect. I'm going. Probably years went by where I didn't draw anything that wasn't assigned to me. I just did the bare minimum. And obviously, that was probably a really bad idea. And I wouldn't recommend it to anybody because people are always saying like, how do people learn how to draw? Like, how do you draw better? How do you learn to draw better? And there really aren't a lot of answers. I mean, you can take classes, but really what's going to make the biggest difference is just drawing more. Everybody hates hearing that, but that's really the truth. I ended up not going into animation afterwards, and I, you know what? I actually never even took a single illustration class because back then, I didn't even know I wanted to do illustration. I didn't figure that out until I was working at a desk job as a graphic designer, basically, and I was just playing around in Photoshop. I also never learned how to use Photoshop in college, so everything that I've learned that I really, truly value, I learned from just messing around, not from taking any class or spending any money on that kind of stuff. It was just from trial and error, so I never took an illustration class. I took one graphic design class, which was awful, and I don't like graphic design if you can't tell. And I didn't end up going into animation after college because Justin actually got a job as an animator and he would work 80 hours a week sometimes and it's just like realistically the two of us both being animators would just not probably work out. And then I just kind of started doing this stuff anyways. Once I started working for myself, I was like, this is what I want to do. Like, this is truly what I want to do. So that's kind of like basically a really rough like overview of my schooling and what got me into drawing. If you're interested in hearing a more detailed kind of thing, I guess if I didn't answer any of your questions or you'd like me to elaborate on something, let me know in the comment section below. But I'm running out of time, so I gotta wrap this up. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like how this badger turned out, let me know by giving this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you want to see more. And if you'd like to color this badger yourself, I'm offering free coloring pages on my Facebook page when you search the word Pignit. P-I-G-K-N-I-T. I've listed all of the animals drawn so far. Download the image, print it out, color it however you'd like, and then share it with me using the hashtag Pignit. I want to thank you guys so much for making it all the way to day 8. If you've been here from day 1, go you. If you've missed some days, go back and watch them. Unless you don't want to, no pressure. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Sorry, if you hear a noise, the animals are like wrestling in the bed behind me. Let's see if I can like take some footage of it. When I was doing my call for requests, I had some people that said, what got you started on YouTube?